yo what's up wonderful people welcome back to a new video on this channel so guys today i'll be explaining um the basics of forex instant so i'll just call it forex 101 instant so basically before you start trading um the forex markets you need just uh something like something you need you you use to access the markets and that is your mt4 or mt5 all right guys so this is the mt4 that's meta trader 4 and meta trader 5 i know you must be wondering why only bible is here <laughs> you can download that also yes so okay now both meta trader 4 and meta trader 5 they are just the same you understand they are both the same just that on meta trader 5 there are some advanced features there understand which i'll be giving you the explanation i'll be showing you guys the difference you understand so now let me launch the meta trader 5 right now so to download the meta trader 5 or meta trader 4 you can choose any one of your choice but me personally i prefer meta trader 5 and you and i will explain why i prefer it you understand so to download it head straight to your play store right now on ios you can't download meta trader 5 or meta trader 4 i know you'll be wondering how i was able to get it here yeah, i already have it on my phone before they stopped the download you understand so i downloaded both meta trader 4 and 5 before they started that stuff you understand so that was how i was able to get it so my simple advice for those that do not have um android is for you to get android you understand or you better still get a laptop you can download meta trader 4 or 5 on your laptop so with that being said let me just continue my explanation so right now this is meta trader 5 you understand and this is a demo account when you once you launch it you should see hundred thousand here i've traded some times ago so that's why you're seeing ninety nine thousand. so that hundred thousand is for you to practice you understand as a beginner this is forex 101 it's for you to practice and i'll be explaining in detail so guys if you're here to subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning the forex markets do want to smash subscribe button and turn on bell notification so as to get notified whenever i post a new video all right guys so this is um the meta trader 5 as you can see there are several peers now once you've downloaded it what is the meaning of forex okay fine I know they are making money on forex they are making money trading and buying stuffs i only know they are buying stuffs what are they buying how do they make money fine let me explain that right now so forex is actually a market you understand forex is a market where you buy and sell it is just two things that's the only thing we do you understand is either you buy or you sell you understand is either you buy it or you sell it you can't stay in the middle if you are staying in the middle you are not in the market understand and now we buy when we know the market will go bullish now what do i mean by bullish 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 means uptrend understand okay now what are we buying and selling i hope you guys are putting down something we are buying currency pairs and we are selling currency pairs now let me explain this is euro usd if i these are several markets okay for instance let me give you this simple example you live in lagos there are several markets in lagos i'm talking to nigerians right now if you are from other countries there are several markets in your area you understand so each currency pair represents each market you understand euro usd is a market on its own gbp usd is a market and several pairs like that there are several markets so that's why my um, forex give you diverse means of making money you understand now let me open the market right now if i want to see what's happening in this market okay fine let me give you this example for instance i'm going to the euro usd market right now and i'm looking for something you understand from the market you understand if i have analyzed this just like going to the real markets to buy something if i check for you euro usd and i do not see what i'm looking for i'll just go back click on this quote here then i'll check another market if they have what i'm looking for you understand 
So that is the simple way of explaining it. You understand? Now, let me explain some other things you guys need to know. In the forex market, there are several things you should take note of. Can you see? <laughs> I analyze this market; it is obeying already. But let me just leave that. There are several things that will help you to know when to buy and sell. Okay, fine. We are saying you buy when the market, um, when you know the market will go bullish, and you sell when the market, when you know the market will go bearish. How will I know? You understand? How will I know that? Okay, fine. This thing will go bullish. How will I know if this thing will go bearish? That is where your technical analysis come into play. You understand? But before I explain technical analysis, you understand? Because technical analysis is like a deep um is is for advanced level. I will still explain that. But for now, let me teach you the basics. Now, there are different types of markets. You understand? There are different types of markets. You have the bullish markets, you have the bearish markets. And we have the ranging markets. Okay, what do I mean by the bullish market? The bullish market is a market that is going upwards. You understand? Now, let me give you an explanation. This is the H1 time frame. If I click on this, if I want to change the um the time frame from H1 to M5. Now, let me explain this. As you can see, there are several things here. All I all I did was click. I clicked on it. You understand? So now I will still make a video on how to um how um the MetaTrader Five works. How to access everything on it. You understand? How to use the MetaTrader Five and MetaTrader Four. I'll make a video on it. You understand, guys? All right. So once I click on it and I choose any time frame of my choice. Now, for instance, this is the M thirty, and that means the um 30 minutes time frame if i look at this this right now this is a downtrend why because it is coming down and that's what we call bearish market you understand so you can see it is coming down it is making lower lows lower lows what do i mean by lower lows this low okay for instance here this low here you understand it came all the way down then it created a new low this low is lower than this low you can you can see it and it is also a low the two but it is just lower than each other so that's to tell you that it is going in a bearish direction you understand it is making lower lows lower lows lower lows lower lows i will still explain how to use how to draw trend lines you can see it is making lower lows now you can see right here you can't tell me this is making lower lows because this is the lower low. If it is going to make another lower low, this this right here, this this sharp edge should be below this sharp edge here. So that's to tell you that okay, the market is still going low. You understand? It is still going bearish. But the fact that it made higher high, like it is higher than this sharp um points right here. So it can give us a confidence that the market wants to reverse you understand based on the fact that you would have done your top-down analysis i will still explain what that means in the next video or probably in um following video just subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification now as you can see the market made higher eye reversed then made it made in another higher eye you understand so this right here is what we call break of structure. This is too big, but just just note it down. You understand? This is the break of structure. What do I mean by break of structure? This is the recent high here. If the market should follow the tra the um trend line pattern, or let me say the direction of the market, it sh this high here should be under it. You understand? But it's refused. It came all the way up, breaking this structure. You understand? It broke that bearish trend then it reversed into it again then you can see that it didn't it didn't come out all, all the way here you understand then it's reversed up again now let's see what happens so the market came all the way here then reversed again 
so this right here there is no direction all the all this place like like this as you are seeing so i can call this consolidation you understand and that's that's another type of market the other one i said the other time which is called the ranging market as you can see the market is not going upwards it is not going downward it is just going up coming down going up coming down going up coming down going up coming down now let's see what happens again as you can see it is still going up going up coming down going up coming down going up coming down going up still going up now it broke the structure again let me delete all this um trend line and stuff okay it broke the structure again then went up all the way up again went up can you see now if you want to analyze the markets you have to use higher time frame don't worry this is just the beginning this is just an introductory um class i will still go in depth on how to analyze the market but for a start you understand so now this is what we call bullish markets you understand this is a bullish market you understand it's making higher eyes this is one eye it came down make a it made another higher eye came all the way down here made another higher eye then it's reversed again making lower low it broke the structure you understand so there's a break of structure here came down made a lower low lower than this low lower than this eye rather you understand then it came all the way down you understand so don't worry in the next video i will make explanation using trend lines so you can use tra your trend lines to identify the trend the um direction of the markets i know it might look very very um complex right now but once you start using trend lines it will be much more easier you understand so that is very 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 simple you understand so this is what we call bearish um market so in conclusion let me just explain this bearish market is the market going downwards you understand it is going downwards then bullish market is the market going upwards you understand going up you understand then ranging markets is the market going without any specific direction you understand it is just consolidating going up coming down going up coming down going up coming down so this is are the three types of markets that we have you understand now i will tell you i will in the next video let me say in upcoming videos i will explain different market structure and different um markets the kind of flags market can form and stuff like that before it starts just do all to watch the video again and again and i will see you guys in the next video